When we scuba dive, our equipment typically includes a cutting device of some kind. Careful consideration needs to be taken when deciding what cutting device is best for you. The most commonly seen cutting device that I personally see at scuba diving sites is the typical sharp point bayonet style knife. These are most commonly purchased among sport divers or beginner divers. They are relatively dangerous. They do not have a good application in diving unless you are uh, keen to partake in some kind of underwater James Bond style combat. They are sharp, they can easily puncture equipment and there's a lot of things underwater that you do not want punctured like dry suits, BC jackets, hoses etc etc. As we become more professional less and less of these sharp cutting devices will be seen amongst regular scuba divers. Technical divers will not use them at all. Let me show you the, all the cutting devices I own and uh, we can talk about the pros and cons and when I would take them with me on a dive. This one of course is the first one I ever purchased. Today it only lives in my toolbox. It never ever goes on a dive anymore. Other examples of good cutting devices would be the titanium hook or parachute cutter as people call them. The parachute cutter is a much better device. It is blunt so you cannot accidentally hurt yourself or your friend if you're in a difficult situation. It's virtually impossible to puncture any equipment. And you have a lot of strength to pull and cut through strings or nets or uh, any kind of device like that. This one of mine I like to carry under my arm over there so that I can easily reach it in tight spots. The serious technical diver however will typically carry a normal stainless steel knife on his belt. So if you prescribe to the Ogathian or the DIR philosophy of diving you would have a single continuous weaved webbed harness and on that we carry a serrated short stainless steel kitchen knife. These knives are incredibly sharp, very easy to cut virtually any soft material and because they are grinded flat it is very hard to accidentally stab a dry suit or even yourself. So very safe, very sharp, very functional. They sheath and typically live on your belt. These are really good cutting devices and if you look at DIR divers this is all they will use. A very practical cutting device is the Z knife. This one is made by Trilobite. It has a blade on the inside. It's extremely sharp. These kind of cutting devices is absolutely amazing for cutting through webbing. So if you want to cut a weight belt free, free from somebody or cut an injured diver out of his dive equipment, this is probably by far the safest and best device. It is almost impossible to cut yourself with a Z knife like this. Very sharp, very effective. I always carry this one with me somewhere on my harness. Really good device. One of my personal favorites is the trauma shears. Trauma shears are very inexpensive. Scissors like this should cost you no more than 10-15 US dollars. Uh, this is the exact same scissors or shears that a paramedic would use at a site or an, at a scene of an accident. They are purposefully blunt again, so it's absolutely impossible to injure yourself. Because they have these rings, it is very hard also to drop them. So if you are narcosed or under stress, very easy to work with these without dropping them. They have a slight serration, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. There's a slight serration on them. 
so they will cut through virtually anything. With these you can cut through wires, you can cut through webbing, most things can be cut with this, with the exception perhaps of steel wires. So if you do rack penetrations and you expect a lot of wires and loose nets and things, this will be a lot more effective than a knife of any kind. More specialist dive equipment or cutting devices is also available um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be from a dive manufacturer. When I dive a shipwreck and I absolutely know that uh, there will be steel wires or copper wires that is hard to cut, then there's nothing wrong with going to your local bike store and you can buy a very specialized wire cutter. I would carry this in a leg pocket and with these clippers I can cut absolutely anything up to two to three mil stainless steel nails can be cut with these pliers with relatively low effort. I do not carry this with me always but if you do rec penetrations having one of these could save your life. So there is no one good device that can do anything that's a myth. Plan your dive, decide what you might need and take the correct equipment. It helps if you've got lots of different cutting devices so you can customize your equipment and have a very safe dive. Thanks a lot. Bye.